Hi everyone. I have um, a different kind of a message today. Actually, this afternoon it is um, Saturday. It is February the 17th, 2024. And I got this resonating all throughout my heart and my spirit. And um, I've never had a message like this before. I'm trying to be as calm, cool, and collected as I can. So it's for you out there, the whole body of Christ. Um, I hope you join me today in this um, enlightening uh, message that I'm going to put forth. And I'm pleading uh, the Lord to loose his blood all over this transmission because this particular transmission has to do with the Antichrist. So um, please get your hearts ready for this. Um, the time has come. The time has come, and it's been revealed through a brother-servant's end-time dream. This particular servant has been serving the Lord God Almighty, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, Abba Yah, I say Abba Yah, Y-H-V-H, uh, slash Yeshua, Jesus Christ, who is our God, Heavenly Father. And um, he makes things known to us, so please wait for the transcripts. I always go, as you know, I've been doing these videos, these end time videos on my channel for over three years, and I do welcome all new subscribers who might not be familiar with my videos. I've made over 300 videos um, over the past three and a half years now. Uh, I concentrate on the end times, which is now, which has been for several, several years, uh, last days. We are in the last of the last days, and I look out for special and certain uh, messages that pop up uh, in my YouTube feed, and I always pray about them. I came out of prayer in tongues, and it was still on my heart, so I know to put the message out. When a message resonates with me as a messenger, anti-messenger for the Lord Jesus Christ, Ye Yeshua HaMashiach, some will say Yahshua, or Ye Yeshua, I say Yeshua, which means he who saves in Hebrew. Um, I get serious. Okay, so I'm serious now. I don't usually do this, but I'm pleading the pure shed blood right on this video. What I would usually do is just do it in the morning that every transmission um, that I um, undertake, any kind of online, um, whether it be a search online, whether it be looking something up, whether it be going on YouTube, whatever it is, it is covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I pray for you all out there because this is the time that we have been um, told about in the book of, I think, I believe it's Second Thessalonians. Uh, First Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians, read that again. Uh, this this chapter, uh, this this um, this uh, book was not mentioned in this um, revelation. It's a revelation from a brother servant, and he um, has an end time dream. And so I pick right up on those kinds of things. Spend time on bended knee, praying for revelation, praying for um, endurance. I pray for um, anointing. I pray to be quickened. These are the kinds of things that you can do yourself when you get on bended knee, when you've known the Lord for a while, as long as I've known him. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I pray for you all uh, that you do have your whole armor of God on, according to Ephesians 6, uh, I say 12 through 17, and even 18, that you would go ahead and pray for all others who are walking in Jesus Christ's righteousness. I would like to um, and just ask you to please do this. And make sure you're pleading his pure shed blood to cover you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Inside your body and outside your body. Everything you touch and you go online. Any phone call you make, etc., etc. Thank you so much for paying attention to this. I find this to be very serious. God has warned in dreams to many of his messengers. New, uh, very brand new. He has brand new messengers out there. I've seen them all. They're wonderful. And ones like myself that have been around for a few years. Many others um, who have been saying and confirming that the Antichrist is here and he is ready now. It's only a matter of time. 
So please don't even try to strain your eyes on this. I just wrote it down as quickly as I heard it. Uh, a brother watchman servant had a dream vision. Okay. Um, sometimes we can see, S-E-E, -E, we can see in the spirit. We can ask for this also. You can ask for revelations to be able to see in the spirit, depending on how obedient you are, how much you're worshiping him, you know, that kind of thing, how much you're on fire for the Lord. Um, through dreams and visions, we get these things, okay? I can't emphasize that enough. I've said it for over three years. We can be enabled by the Holy Spirit. He has this power to quicken us, uh, to download to us, etc., um, this particular uh, servant, I paid special attention to because I just got that quickening all over me to pay attention. He was walking down a ramp in his dream. This ramp was curved and he was looking and God enabled him to be a seer in the spirit, that he was able to see in the spirit he was looking around in his dream to see the place where he was at, but he wasn't able to see the whole place he was walking. Everything looked like it was made out of stone, he said. He said almost everything was man-made. It was almost like he was on a, at a curved uh, man-made ramp, he said, but he was walking on it. <sighs> okay, he said he saw to his left that there were devil worshippers of Satan. They were like a monk um, wearing a cloak or robe with hoods. He could not see their faces. The Lord would not enable this. He said it was dark. Uh, he said all black. They couldn't see the face. It was of darkness for a reason, not for him to see it. Um, they had red cloaks on with hoods. As he was walking, he saw pieces of wood sticking out of the wall. He saw pieces of wood sticking out of the wall. Torches of fire were burning. They were all lit up. Also, he said they were holding these torches. They were chanting a hmm, like a hmm, like you would hear before a sacrifice or something. He said, if anybody knows anything about this, he says, there are those who chant. He, they were chanting. He said he heard this. So I can imagine how, how, um, how terrifying this must have been to this believer in the Lord Jesus Christ and this servant. Um, it has to do with the fact that the Antichrist is ready now. So... Um, he said it was almost like they were singing all together in accordance, like one. But it doesn't have to be for a sacrifice. He said he couldn't tell where he was exactly. He was not sure if, it was, if he was time traveling in the spirit realm, but he knew that he was being hidden. He kind of got that feeling in the dream. He said almost at the end of the ramp, seeing all these devil worshipers, um, he saw something like a standalone tub. That's what he said, like a con big container. He said there was a human being. He said he could not see his, his head, but these devil worshipers, they pushed this human being down into it. He said what he saw, it seemed filled this filled container was filled with blood. I'm sorry if that's disturbing to you, but this is the truth and I have to present it. Okay, please pray about this. Then they brought him back up. He saw the man's jet black hair slicked back like a model in a magazine. I don't know. I'm just reading it. Okay, please bear with me. Please bear with me. He said God was letting him know the red liquid was blood. <clears throat> sorry, I lost my place, pure blood. And God, the Lord told this moderator, the one who had this dream vision that it was the antichrist was being baptized in blood. So picture that, um, brethren, picture that brothers and sisters. Okay. Picture that it's the time. It is the time now. 
He said, this is a sign, and he saw it. Okay, I didn't see it, but the Lord has prompted my spirit. I guess you could put it that way. The Lord prompted my spirit. So he said, um, he asked the Lord to, re to read, to, for him to find something in the Bible about this, and the, the Lord quickly gave him Revelation chapter 13, verses 3 through 8. So please go to that. It would take a lot of time for me to read that. I want to stress Revelation 13, verses 3 through 8. They were all, meaning they, uh, they meaning the Luciferian worshipers, they were ready. They were worshiping this man, um, this being, this, this, this being, and, and did this to the man who had this dream, could only see the back of his hair, only see the back of him, and it was slicked back. He wanted to emphasize that, okay? They were worshiping him, this evil Messiah, this fake Messiah, this deceiving angel of light, he said, that will come when the exact time is right. So please pray at this time. Please bring it to the Lord. I always say that. Please, please bring this to the Lord. My confirmation always comes to me in the form of the timing of it. I look it up in Strong's Concordance. You know I do that, family. Um, come to him now. Come to Jesus. If you don't know Jesus Christ, um, please don't wait any longer. Please don't be a fence sitter. Um, it's on my heart to, to tell you and, and to pray for more eyes and ears to wake up to Jesus right now. Just come, come to him. Come to the Lord Jesus now before it's too late. Ask him to absolve all of your sin, absolve all of your sins so that you can have e eternal life, everlasting life. Thank you so much, family, for paying attention. And please, like I said, take it to the Lord. Amen.